Hello and welcome back. I'm so excited to show you what this property looks like today. Finally, we are done with the renovation. Everything is looking great. It's been an amazing six weeks. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the outcome of the property. If you guys have been following, you will see that uh, we've made a lot of updates. I walked you through all the things that we were doing during the renovation. But more importantly, aside from showing you the property, I'm also happy to have a very good friend here with me. Jide Ogle, please. Thank come you. On. <laughs> this is my well, very beloved friend. <laughs> so let me introduce you quickly. Jide Ogle here is the CEO, founder, Denaro. chairman, yeah. the Nero Properties, the Nero Homes. Thank you. Uh, if you are, uh, you if, if you were on one of our uh, episodes like last two years, yes, yes. We talked about the Nigerian, Nigerian industry, real estate market. Real estate yeah. market. So, and uh, you were the secretary for Redan or what were you? Uh, the national auditor. Auditor for, back then. Yeah, the yeah. youngest national auditor twelve years ago. So then presently I'm going for the general secretary in the southwest region. All right. So, GD and I go way back. Uh, I know I'm spending time on introduction, but I've known this guy since 1992. Yeah. We went to the same secondary school. Shout out to Unity Secondary School, Oyekiti. So, GD is an expert in real estate. He's one of the foremost uh, real estate developer in Nigeria, in Lagos. If you need properties in Nigeria, in Lagos, please reach out to him. I'm going to put his details in the uh, description. So. I'm going to be walking around with Jide. Uh, Jide knows a lot more. You've been doing this for since when? Uh, for 15 years now. Oh my and God. When I saw the first video <laughs> about five weeks ago, I put a call across to this guy to say, how does this work? <laughs> and that the next time I'm visiting Dallas, I want to see this project. Well, so I came purposely to check out this project. Can you imagine that? And I'm amazed with the pre uh, delivery and what has been done by the team. All who right. Knows, thank knows? you. Thank you. Without further ado, let's walk inside. And once again, let me always say thank you to my wife, the camera woman behind the scenes. So you people always ask me who does my recording. So I employ my wife to do the job. All right. Let's go inside. Let me show you everything that is going on. You know what? Let me start from the outside, actually. Um, first of all, we replaced the roof. Um, when I told you guys this house was built in 1941, I don't want to get too excited because I have GDM. That was uh, <laughs> the First World War, right? Oh, I know, I know, I know. It was built in 1941, and we've done a lot of changes. If you remember, the greens were not, the, the leaves were not this, uh, this uh, green, the trees. Uh, we made changes starting from the gardening, the mulch. We make sure that we did a good job there. You see, uh, when we bought the home, it was white paint. We changed it to green. We added uh, the window siding to make it look good. We changed all the windows in the property. So on the outside, you can see what a beauty it is right now. So the roof, the windows, uh, you know, everything on the outside looks great. Let me take you inside. Let me walk you through. I love the kitchen. I love the extra mat. So let's go inside. Let's check it out. Judy, let me know what you think about it. Okay, no problem. We are here in the living room. There's so much I love about this place, but I want my you know, guy here, my expert. What do you think about this place? Wow, all I can say is wow, wow, wow. This property looks small on the outside, but I'm entering the city room right now. It's so big. You know, it can accommodate any family at any level of life. And then there's an angle that the camera cannot capture. I love the porch, the entrance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes. I can have some privacy there, do some things there. And then I'm looking at the open uh, concept. kitchen. Open yeah. concept kitchen. I think there was a wall here before. Right? Yes, so, so there was a wall right here. I, I, I'm coming in now. It's difficult for me to act, uh, <laughs> match the old pictures with what I'm well, seeing. Yeah, I mean, if you go to the first it's time, amazing. Room, it's, it's amazing. It's totally different. It's amazing. There's a lot of changes here. And one thing about the painting, I love the colors. Okay, thank you. You know, That's so cool, great. Yeah. so peaceful. You know, they are not loud. And um, they are going to fit with any type of furniture you bring in. Yes. So yes. somebody is bringing in brown leather, black leather, wine leather, is going to work with this color. I think I'm going to wine leather. No, seriously. <laughs> so that's one of the things I look for. So okay. there's a lot of maturity uh -huh, in uh -huh. the painting and the presentation that uh, has been done. The cabinets are wonderful, you yeah. know, and they are so strong, real wood. Uh, the cabinet, the bathroom tops also. Wonderful, looking good and uh, sparkling, uh, new. So it's, it's a wonderful job that's been done here. Uh, done here. Thank you. Good, thank you. Good, good. Yeah, thank you. One last thing is, I don't know if you can put the camera a little bit on the floor. On the floor, yeah. The floor is amazing. Yeah. I 
like the polish, I like the floor. Do you guys remember I used to rave about this? I like the way this came out. I like that you can, you know, the family pictures, yeah, the, the, the flowers, the books. You know, I like the way this shelf is. Uh, school awards for the kids. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know, you can that is the, good. You know, trophies. Trophies. You know, you know basketball, sports, whatever yeah, the kids yeah, do. Yeah. Then, if you, if you remember. Uh, you're talking about the big windows. Yes. This is, this is massive. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you look, in, if you don't remember what it looks like, Check out episode one or two. Yeah. When we're doing the demolition, you will remember what the windows look like. All the windows in the house have been changed. I like the color, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. I like this too. I, I don't know if I can jump up. I like this. I like the way it looks. I like the wood finish. I like the flooring. I like the fact that this place was totally covered and you, you can like when you come in, it makes the house look bigger. Yeah. Overall, yeah. the house is twelve hundred yeah. square foot thereabouts. Mm -hmm. But when you come in right here now, you can have your family here in yeah. the dining. Yeah, the dining. The yeah. living room is right here. Yeah. yeah, everything is looking good. And but while we are there, let us go straight to the kitchen before we go to the rooms. So let's check out the kitchen. What do you think about the marbles, GD? The marbles are fantastic. You know, I love white. All right, so GD, what do you think about this kitchen? Uh, there's a lot of transformation right here, but yeah. let's start from the marble. What do you think? The kitchen is one of the iconic features of this property. Uh, I love white a lot and this marble top goes with anything. You can't get it wrong when you uh, do white. Yep. And also the grey uh, uh, furniture, the grey cabinets, yep. the white uh, cabinets, you know, everything is complimentary. How about the uh, bus flash? Yeah, if I've been looking at this, where can we get this? <laughs> Take him to do something <laughs> in Lagos. Uh -huh. so I even post this on some properties in Lagos. Yeah. People were going to be the top of the town. Oh, tell me about this. This is quite <laughs> innovative. And then I love the layout of the kitchen. You know, you have your cooking space here, you have the extractor, mm -hmm. and then you have your dishwasher under this, tucked in under and this space. By the way, let me remind you when we bought this property, this wasn't here. Oh, so okay. this was totally yeah, true. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, so this is, we, we created this uh, uh, island a new innovation, to yeah. make it totally yeah. different. And then the fridge. So you have a giant fridge. You can yeah. just bring that here. The double door fridge. fridge. Yeah, the and French it fits in yeah. here uh, perfectly. And uh, also the floor, the flooring. The what you have in the main lounge is. Uh, okay. Moving into the uh, mm -hmm. kitchen, the same. I'm talking about the color concept. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You yes, know, so yes. it flows along. It, it flows so along. And I actually like the light. The light, the yeah, yeah. So everything just kind of like real beauty goes out together. Yeah. And I, you know, maybe when we are done, I'll talk the numbers again. Yeah. But just to know, yeah, I've been talking about the numbers. House was bought for two hundred fifty thousand. Renovation is what you are looking at that brought this house to twenty twenty four. Before we go into the rooms, let me show you what the. Uh, the laundry looks like. If you remember, there was a green room inside. Now, this is not a green room where the celebrity stayed. The green room that we, were, we thought we were going to make the laundry, but that was what we made the, uh, the, the new bathroom for the master. But we were able to create a little bit of laundry right here. So it's going to be a double uh, a laundry. You know, the washer and dryer will be uh, up and down. So let me show you what it looks like, then we'll go into the rooms. All right, so this is the laundry as you can see. We were able to carve out a place for the laundry. Now we have, you know, the washer and dryer. That is uh, where everything plugs in, right there. We have the uh, high voltage that is going to be plugged into it. And uh, just by the other side, you will see you can go exit straight into the garage. I'll still walk you through the garage. The roof of the garage was also done. Everything is brand new. The roof, the fence. So once we get out, I'll show you that. But before we go, let me take you inside to the rooms. Let's show you what the rooms look like. Then we'll go from there. Stay with us. All right, so here we are in the second bed. Remember I told you this house is a two bedroom, one bath, that we turn into a two bedroom, two bath. So here is the second bedroom. The second bedroom, we made it more spacious. The, rock, the, uh, the wood is really cleaned out. The wall, we painted it. We changed the two windows. We added the ceiling fan and the light. And also we cleaned up the closet. So let me walk you around to see what it looks like. Then I'll take you straight to the bathroom that is meant for our, our, this uh, second bedroom. So follow me. All right, so here we are, like I said, this is the second room. We make sure that everything is looking good. There was a lot of work that was done. So I think the wall was painted three times, if I'm correct. We added the ceiling fan and the uh, lightning. We changed the three windows in, the, uh, in this bedroom. And uh, I actually like what was done uh, in the closet right here. So um, I would love to walk you right, right in here, but I really like the lighting. The lighting is good. Uh, it feels, uh, the size of the size is like my hand right now. 
I feel like a basketball fan, <laughs> guy right now. You know, when the basketball guys are holding the ball, you know, uh, the basketball. So, this is the length of uh, the closing. We have uh, shelves right here. We have the hangers where you can actually hang your the rails where you can hang your clothes. So, this is what we have here. And uh, we can go from there. There is a bathroom, the bathroom, original bathroom that came with this house. Let me show you what you transform it to. I'm still going to show you the front after, but if you are curious, check out episode one or two, you will see what we have there. Let me show you the bathroom, let me show you some of the things that we improved there before Julian would help us uh, to uh, take us through the master bathroom, uh, the master bedroom and the bathroom. Yeah. Alright, so here is the original bathroom that came with the house. I remember when we first got this house, I was thinking, hmm, what are we going to do with this place? But, I like what uh, my contractor has done. This is a masterpiece. And then when we started the design, when we started renovating, we thought this was going to be our only bathroom. So we, we, we put a lot of effort into there. So let me show you what it looks like. I like the outcome, but we're going to add an extra bathroom, which, like I said, GD will take us through. So follow me here. It's a very small bathroom, a, a little bit enclosed, but I'll show you what, what was done here. All right. One of, the cool, one of the cool things I like is I like the gold handles right here. I like the fact that everything was changed right here. This was in here when we bought it. It was a single, um, uh, uh, what was it called now, sink. So, but we changed everything. We added uh, all these uh, double doors that we, you can put stuff in your closet. We changed the toilet sink. We added this. We changed the wall, you know, uh, the, uh, the windows. Um, I like the mirror. Remember when you watch episode one or two, you saw me with the camera looking at my size. It's big enough. Even two people can brush their teeth here. When you look at the size, if you remember what we used to have here, a very small mirror when I was doing the demolition of video, the uh, episode one. So I like the fact that the gold feature also match with the bathroom. Let me show you what we have in the bathroom area. Um, the bathtub is great. I like the bathtub. I like the gold handles, the features, the shower. And more importantly, I like this. I like where you have a space where you can put your soap, you can put your sponge, where you can hang stuff if you need to. Uh, so all you have to do is just, you know, get the pole and you put a, a shower pot in here and your bathroom is ready to use. So this is what we did. I like the towels. I like the towels. I like the bath splash here. I think, you know, these are features that actually add value to this property. So when you are trying to flip a property, I think uh, the bathroom is very important, the bathroom, the kitchen, those are important things that will increase the value of your property. The roof also matters a lot, but overall, I like the work we've done with the, uh, with the bathroom space. All right, so before we go, let me show you the masterpiece. Uh, this is the master bedroom. Um, I'm gonna let Jide take this because Jide, you know, you've watched episode one. Yeah. You saw the demolition. demolition. What do you think about the master bedroom along with the uh, bathroom? The uh, master bathroom. bedroom is simply a masterpiece. You know, this is the true definition of what a master bedroom should look like. A master bedroom, you know, should have all the comforts you need at your back and call. This is very big. The floor is well polished. So this is the definition of what a uh, master bedroom should look like. The finishing is top notch and I must give kudos to the team once again. This fiber board is not common. Yep. You know, it's something that is really going to keep the uh, room in pristine condition for a very long time. So this fitting is something that is not common that I really see in uh, property. This is a, this is a 1941, so I guess it came with, it came with the house. <laughs> so, and then you look at the electrical uh, fittings, like the sockets and the switch, they are really nice. And I'm trying to wonder by the time they put curtains on the, in the window, this lighting at the fan is going to make the room quite cool. Look at yeah, cool. yeah, I like the fan. So, I like, yeah, I, like I like the fan, the concept of the fan is really nice. And then another thing that makes this master bedroom quite unique is the uh, added balcony. So you can actually step out to, if you do secrets, you can have it. Your... <laughs> oh. That is good. It gives you easy access. access to, to, uh, yeah, yeah. Needs, uh, you know. <laughs> and then I love the uh, space here. Yeah, you know, here yeah, you can have flags, you know, planted here, yeah, artificial, mm -hmm. and both of you. And then you can have your pictures, family pictures.
Highlight of the master bedroom is the new toilet and bath that you have here. Yeah. This yeah. place wasn't there before. No, right? it wasn't. It wasn't. So, it wasn't. And it was a small closet. It was a small closet, so I'm amazed to see how big it is now. <laughs> and that really defines what the master bedroom should look like. You have the closet here. And then you have. Let me, let me walk in with you. So yeah. I can see what you're talking so you about. have the, the clothes sets here where you can bring in your clothes, and then you have the shelf where you can keep your shoes and other items. So the wall here wasn't there before. No, it wasn't. So it was created. So this is what four thousand five hundred additional <laughs> expense can get you. I know. I know. And it's looking so good and fantastic. I love the wall of the shower cubicle, and then the pocket me, you have here. Oh, you some water. <laughs> so here yeah, you can have, I can keep my soap, my yeah. shampoo, yeah. and anything that uh, you want to keep the um, the, the sink. Zinc is er looking everything, cool. was, everything right here is with a cabinet and a mirror. Very, yeah. very, very wonderful, and it's a really nice concept. The idea to bring it, this wall in is actually quite creative and you know, ingenious move. Yeah. So this is really looking good and it defines what a master bedroom should look like in reality. You know, it's really spacious, it's yeah, really nice. That was what I was really talking about. Spacious, spacious, really spacious yes. and you yeah. know looking nice. And everything is well positioned uh for whoever is gonna occupy it. Let me, and let then me. the railings, I love the railings. <laughs> okay. You know the handrail for you and your curtains there, yeah, uh the, your tower. And then here you can also stay on some other things. And the window, and then, do you have behind it? you, you can actually put um, your toilet roll. Your toilet roll, you can put it there. So everything is well positioned. It's really lovely and good. Thank you. So yeah. the the window also was nearly added because we added uh, the uh, extra bath here, added the window. Yeah. Now before we leave the master bath and we go to the garage, let me just give a shout out. If you know, you know. Remy Roy. Thank you for the suggestion to add the extra of bath here. We really appreciate your input. So, Remy Roy is a friend of the house. She was the one that gave us the idea I to guess. put it right there. Yeah. So, I want and, to and I was well. hard that I've yeah. seen a lot of listings on all the uh, listing web, uh, sites. Mm -hmm. I hardly see a two bedroom with two bath. Yes, yes. I always, most times what I see is just two bedroom with one bath. So, this is actually a hot cake for me <laughs> if i'm looking for a two bedroom to buy and then i'm getting too bad too, too bad, too too bad with yeah, it you yeah. know, it's that is true too full it's bad. something that i don't see it's unbeatable yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so let's go to the garage before we wrap up then i'll tell you what the final numbers look like and uh you know uh let you know how things are going with marketing the property uh, on mls thank you all right one of the cool features is you know we we actually deliberated should we cover the roof, you know, uh, or should we leave it open? We decided that it gives it some old school feeling. Uh, we just did what, what we just did was just to just uh, stain it to make it uh, modern and look good, but it gives it that old school feel. So I have to leave the roof just like this, clean it up, you know, dust it, let it be the way it is. So you can make this uh, a garage, or you can make it a workshop as you didn't fit. So you can put all your stuffs here, you can hang your stuffs here. If you want to put your tools, you can put your tools right here. So we make it an inclusive garage that you can have everything you need. Like I said, the paint, if you need any paint to touch up, to do anything, it's easier because this is what you're gonna use, you know, to uh to, to, to get the house in order. When you, maybe you have kids running around and you need to just touch up the properties. All right. And the you forgot to mention the entire roof was changed. Yes, right? yes, yes. The, the roof was absolutely it's brand new. The, yes, the, the, the roof the is brand new. Yeah. Same thing with the roof of the house. Yeah, everything was totally new. changed. Yeah. So, looking good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, uh, thank you so much for uh, staying with me. Thank you so much for hanging in there. And that is it for this property. I wanted to walk you through the whole rehab. Overall, this took uh, six weeks, six, seven weeks from when we bought the property. Um, let me just give you the numbers again. Uh, we bought this house for almost 200,000, 197, I think. But let's not make it 200. Uh, with insurance, the rehab was around almost 50. So with insurance, with utilities, and the little extra things on top of it, we spent a little of 250 on this property. Uh, we are hoping it sells for something in the 300s. So I'll let you know. Maybe I'll do another episode to let you know when the house sells. I'll let you know how things worked out. You know, when you flip a property, what you need to uh, expect in terms of profit, uh, how long it's going to be, working with the contractor, all the in and outs of the property. But overall, uh, I think this is a masterpiece. It came out very well 
but especially for me as a beginner when it comes to flipping properties. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me let me know the cool features you like about it. Let me know what you think I can do better, what I can add to the features, and I hopefully when I go to the next properties, I'll make those adjustments and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying with me. I appreciate your time. The fact that you've been able to follow through from episode one to where we are. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Stay tuned to more episodes from Blue Minage. Thank you.